The Bridgerton season three trailer came out today. I have been watching it over and over and over again. And in this video, we are going to dissect it together. I am not kidding. I even took notes on every single shot. It starts off with them setting up the queen's chair. I'm sure this is a setup for all the presentations that go on every single season at the beginning of the season. This year, Francesca is the one that's gonna be coming out into society from the Bridgertons. And there she is, there is Francesca. She is dancing with someone and she actually seems happy to be dancing with him. So hopefully we get to meet Francesca's suitors or Francesca's like future love interest because I feel like I'm super in love with Colin and Penelope because we've met them for two seasons like they've been around we've gotten to know them for over two seasons so that's why we're so invested in their relationship so it would be nice to also see Francesca's love interest like in a season prior before her actual season comes out the carriage the carriage the carriage and if you have read the book then you know what I am talking about the carriage is an iconic scene from the pollen series and the, obviously this is not that scene but but it's the carriage, the ca the carriage. And there's Penelope, she is so beautiful. She is absolutely stunning. So beautiful, I really hope she's thinking, I am worthy, I am worthy, I am more, I am great. And here's Francesca, she is coming out, she's being presented to the queen. I wonder if she's gonna be the diamond this season because by Queen Charlotte's reaction, she actually seems really pleased with Francesca and I mean, she's beautiful. Why wouldn't she be the diamond? Who else would be the diamond of the season if not Francesca? And then we have Kate and Anthony. I know last season was their season, but, and I know there's a lot of tension between Pollen fans and Canthony fans. Let's be honest, all they did last season was fight. So it's gonna be nice to see them happy. The only happy Kate and Anthony that we saw was the last couple of minutes of season two. And we deserve a little bit more. They deserve a little bit more. I'm really excited that they're coming back, unlike Daphne and the Duke. But that's another story. Okay, I did not see this coming. I did not think that Eloise was gonna be so petty. I know she's in her petty era, but going and becoming friends with Cressida, the one and only, the bully of the bulliest, the one that has made Penelope's life so miserable. Even Penelope was your best friend for life. She was your best friend forever. And now you're gonna go and become friends with Cressida? I really hope that Eloise doesn't become like Cressida. I really hope I don't see any negativity. I really hope that I don't see any of that mean girl energy from Eloise because that is not her. And of course, Penelope is hard broken because she's with Cressida and Cressida sucks. I'm really glad that Penelope at least still has a friend and she's able to talk to her about these things but can she move out? Was it allowed back in the day to like move out of your house without a husband or do you need a husband in order to move out of your house? I mean she has her own money, She ha she's a little boss bitch you know but I don't think she can move out. I really hope that Philippa does get a happy ending because I mean, that's just cute. Like they're they're just so cute. Like I love that. I love that they match each other's energy. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And then we have Penelope walking out of the drawing room. This is definitely the Featherington house, like a thousand percent. And this is the moment that she's like, I'm out. I'm done. I can't take it anymore. I wonder if her mom told her anything. Here comes Colin. Oh my god, honestly, I had a little freak out moment when I saw this. I was like, what? No, he cannot be courting anyone else. He has to be with Penelope. Like, what? who is this person? I got a little bit jealous, honestly, because it wasn't me. And I'm sure this is just an extra and it, everything's gonna be okay. He just picked up her handkerchief. Hot, hot, hot Colin. He got that main character energy. Look at him. He is beyond gorgeous. Like, he looks so good so hot like you can tell he worked out a lot for this season three and oh my god i'm so excited you know for what you know what i'm excited for <laughs> i think this is the first time that colin and penelope meet in season three because penelope still has her old look and you can tell that she's still like kind of pissed from last season you know what he said i would never dream of courting penelope Bellington. 
Mm. So you can tell that she's still upset about that and this is still her old look So I'm sure this is the first time seeing him after he came back into London And then we have Francesca dancing again But she doesn't seem as happy as she was with the other guy that she was dancing with first So I'm sure that she's getting courted She's getting called on because this is her first time that she's coming out into society I know that was Penelope's first time trying to talk to guys and it was a total fail but what is it that like you can tell that she is devastated and the guys are so rude like why do you have to laugh at her in her face like why can't you just be like no thank you like aren't you supposed to be a gentleman wasn't that era all about being gentleman like and you're laughing in her face What's wrong with you? A thousand percent sure that Colin saw that that happened and then that's why this is happening, that he's going and telling her like, I'll help you. Like, you know, like, I'll help you find, I'll help you find a husband. Yeah, sure, just friends. Yeah, friends. Was anyone else a little upset that they're going this route again with the friends to lovers kind of story because this is kind of what we got from Daphne. I really hope that they change it up a little bit and it's not exactly the same because I mean, we just saw it with Daphne and the Duke. A way they could make it different is that maybe Colin is introducing Penelope to his friends. Maybe that's like a little bit of an easier introduction and that way it's not the same as Daphne and the Duke who were playing like they were interested in each other. They were courting. This is so funny. Like look at his face. He's like, Oh girl, you need help. <laughs> girl, you need a lot of help. <laughs> like, what am I gonna do here? <laughs> at the way he looks at her, he is falling in love with her. I really think that this is the eclair scene from the book. It's just like a cute little scene that she's like eating and he catches her and it's like, oh, maybe. <laughs> it's like a cute scene from the book and i'm really excited that they are putting scenes like this in the in the in the series because if you read the books then you know that it really isn't exactly the same there is little things here and there but it's completely different especially since they're jumping a timeline eloise i cannot even look at you like please don't talk to me i do not want to see you like how dare you do this to penelope she was your friend she was your friend and here we have another iconic scene the letter opener scene she cuts his hand and she's like touching his hand and they're like touching each other so like i said they are putting the main scenes from the book into the series but obviously we haven't seen the main main scenes and you know which scenes i'm talking about the ones that we all want to see hopefully they do find a way to put them in the series because that is what we all want to see 1000 percent thinking about penelope and then all the yellow dresses get them out girl get them out throw them out embrace your inner beauty embrace your gorgeousness i love what she says the diamonds aren't the only thing that shine emeralds emeralds shine and she is an emerald look at how the way she looks with her gorgeous green dress and her red hair this is exactly the color for Penelope. Lord Dublin, I hope you make Colin fume. I want to see Colin jealous. I want to see him fuming. I want to see him that he can't take it anymore. He can't stand to see Penelope close to another man who is actually liking her. I feel like this man is going to treat her so well. He's going to be so nice to her. He's actually going to fall for her. And it's going to be so hard when she breaks his heart. Portia being nice to Penelope. This is amazing. I am so glad that they took out the ugly, nasty Portia from the books and they put this nice Portia in the series. The fact that she's getting noticed by her mama and she's getting a compliment from her mama. I bet that she feels so, 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 so special. I have seen this a thousand times and I cannot figure out who this is. I really think it's Colin shirtless dancing with someone but who is he dancing with does anyone know who he's dancing with because we know it's colin he's probably gonna be shirtless the entire season and i'm here for it the more shirtless the better i am down but who is this person that he's dancing with i cannot figure it out please help me out girl i've seen it so many times i can't figure it out he was dreaming of penelope he was a thousand percent dreaming of penelope I wouldn't dream of courting Penelope Featherington. Who's dreaming now? Who's dreaming of Penelope now? Hmm? Hmm? Francesca is definitely hoping to find true love and that's why she's looking at her parents' portrait. She wants that type of love. Violet. 
she wants her garden to bloom. If you watched Queen Charlotte, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. And maybe she's gonna get her garden to bloom with this guy. I don't know, because if you watched the live video today um, that they did watching the trailer, like re-watching the trailer and explaining the trailer as well, you saw that Lady Danbury talks about someone who's coming into the picture who is mean to her. So I'm kind of worried that this is the guy that she's referring to or the character that she's referring to because if that's the case, then we don't want him with Violet. She said that it was someone from her past who was coming back into her present just to like remind her like, you're not that strong woman you think you are. I am so excited about this season. I cannot believe that they're splitting it into two parts. I feel like that's very pollen of them because they're just teasing us. You know, the way that they tease each other, they are teasing us with two parts of this season three, which I'm super excited about, but I'm also like, give it to me. Oh, dámelo todo, dámelo, dámelo. Un jalón, yo quiero todo. <laughs> but I guess we're gonna have to wait to watch it in two parts. I know it's gonna be amazing. I am thinking that the first part is gonna end when, I'm not gonna give any spoilers, but I really feel like the good stuff is gonna come in the part two. Um, I really hope that we get a little bit of spiciness in part one and I really, really hope that we get a little bit of spiciness in part one because if not, wait to wait another month for the, all the spiciness? Oh, I don't know if I can take it. <laughs> I'm so excited and I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you are into Bridgerton as much as I am and you want more videos like this, please let me know. I can do like a breakdown of each episode because I love to watch these types of videos, but I've never done one before. So let me know how I did and if you all would like to see more of different shows or whatever. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>